Welcome, welcome. This is the bird's eye view, and I'm back. This is the war duck, and I am here with Mr. Crow. What's up, everybody? How you doing today? And so I know like most of the talk is about this uh school shooter. Yep. Um and there's a lot of like you know as always like for the people that lost their lives it's just unspeakable and you know our heart goes out to them but um like i think a lot of the problem with the school shooting stuff is the media mm. because if you if it was illegal to ever say the name on air or show a picture of him on air would there still be as many school shootings? I don't think there would be. Yeah, I don't know. I... But because it gets all over the news and everybody, they become infamous, not famous, they become infamous, that this yeah. keeps happening. Because they get some kind of notoriety. They, they know they're going to be remembered, good, bad, or worse, or whatever. But if it was illegal to show their face and to say their name in in video broadcast not that you couldn't do it on a written article a written or something yeah no, but that makes on a sense. video broadcast it was illegal to show their face or to to say or to show their name so it wasn't so uh, glamorized by these wackos i don't think yeah. we would see it as much i honestly don't i i i've never thought of it that way and i think that's a good point like i i don't know it it is I know some of them do it for fame and glory, if you will, for their 15 minutes of fame, if you will. Right. And, and that's, that's an interesting point. I've never thought of it that way. And then, of course, the media, you know, they, they can't talk about anything except for the bad. That's the only thing that they want to talk about. Yeah. If it doesn't, if it's not bad and it doesn't fit their narrative, they're not talking about it. And, that's true. And it, this, and this it's brings very sad up, to know that. This brings up this headline right here. <clears throat> Good gal with a gun, woman with a pistol, kills gunmen at party. Yep. This is nowhere. Except on Channel no. 13 News, whoever the hell that is. I don't know. <laughs> and we all got Ch Channel 13 somewhere. Channel 13 <laughs> local in West Virginia, I'm betting. Uh, and yeah. that, and that's, it wasn't on any national radar. It wasn't anywhere like that, right? But this... Well... Uh... It's it's interesting. I'll, I'll I'll actually I'll yeah I'll let you keep going because I think there's I, I I don't know maybe it's another conspiracy theory for another video but um it, it's this is not where you're gonna get your views from so well but th but that's the thing is this is a this does not fit their narrative of all guns are bad no. so they're not gonna talk about and, it. And, and because it was shut down or because it was cut short, if you will, because of this, this lady, it ne it now didn't become a mass shooting. It's no longer. It, yeah, it doesn't meet that narrative. So now people aren't going to come flocking to it. They're not going to come see it. Or, but it, it now doesn't classify. But you're going to see it right here on the bird's eye view. Yeah, but we're going to talk about it because this. This is the this is the anti all guns should be gone argument, right? If more yeah. people were armed, more people right. had training on how to use a gun, more people could stop the school like like here's a prime example. I know there's a lot of people now that say that all teachers should be armed. And I fully agree. Because if that school shooter had walked into a classroom or a school full of teachers with a gun, that guy wouldn't have lasted a minute. Yeah. And and I tend to wonder, too, if you, like, this this has sparked a lot of conversations around around in, in my family as well as we're talking about it and, and discussing and just openly uh, having people talk about it. But th this brings up, the topic that we started to discuss, like, why do you hear about mass shootings happening a lot around schools um, or in areas where they're limited 
or it's really discouraged to have concealed weapons and or even to have the citizens to have weapons in that area and you really find out that the gunner is trying to actually focus those areas because his chances of being shot are much less and they know that they know this right well, right but if you bring up the topic that if a teacher carries a handgun or there's the potential that a teacher has a gun i don't if you're a shooter you know are you willing you to walk into there. that class 50 yeah. 50 chance well, of knowing yeah. that that teacher may or may not have a gun and not because i want to stay on properly. this topic but I want, you, yeah. you hit on a point that that was there is like this shooter went somewhere where he knows he wasn't going to be confronted yes and oh yeah he went there with basically a four thousand dollar setup yes we you know i think too we should probably clarify this party because i know when i first read it i thought party and i thought like an adult party i think this is this is, was a graduation for kids, but uh, again, targeting school. But the, somebody had had just graduated, and and I use kids that very lightly because they didn't say if it could have been high school or something. But yeah. okay, so so in West Virginia, it's not a drinking party, for right, example. Right. <laughs> That's all so, I'm trying to get to. So in West Virginia, um, so they say that this guy, a, a butler was approached about a speeding in an apartment co complex while children were playing. Yep. He then left the complex, returned a short time later, parked his vehicle uh, in front of the apartment, parked. pulled out an AR-15 style rifle, which means they have no idea what kind of rifle it was. It was... <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and he started firing at people. Okay. So this is the typical start to every mass casualty shooting. Right, guy shows up. He pulls out the the assault rifle, AR fifteen, AR, yeah. right? And yep. uh, he starts firing at people at the party. And if this was a lot of other places, he would have killed some people. So yeah, a couple, yeah. But agreed. This time. He messed with the wrong people. And this lady pulled out her pistol and she returned fire, fatally wounding the killer. And he, he later is no died more. in the hospital. And yeah. nobody died. Nobody died other than him. Yeah. And this lady was, she had a, a legal permit. She had everything, you know, that. Everything was legal on her side. He just showed up at the wrong party. It says, <laughs> just... in instead of running from the threat, she engaged with the threat and saved several lives last night, said the lieutenant. She was lawfully carrying a firearm and stopped a threat. Yep. There was a graduation party and a party with kids. So obviously, someone just graduated high school and could have had a casualty it, it, shooting. Yeah. But I don't know. This could have been a mass casualty shooting right. again. Yeah. So this is a hero lady, but you ain't heard about this lady. In fact, they didn't you even know they're not even reporting I her name, just, right? I was just gonna say, here's the thing that's kind of flustering to me. Is, and and I understand, you know, keeping her name a little private right now in reason be she's not mentioned in this. Like her name, not mentioned at all. It's it's only Dennis, the shooter. Yeah. That's it. And it's, yeah, it's kind of sad. It's kind of, where, where's the, where's the pat on the back? Like, and, and I think you're right, Duck. Like if, if people were more informed, more trained and more prepared, I think there's more people out there who are just unaware or maybe even nervous about things. But I think if we actually just, trained the, the more citizens well, to be prepared but but you say nervous possible. and you should always be yeah. nervous holding the gun period well no no i mean about even period nervous about do i get a handgun do i you, you know and some like i think they i think if we informed our people more that is the that is the better route to take to try to 
if, deal with this. I if, don't think any law can fix this. Well, that, that's, see, see, see that's the end. whole thing is is the the New York shooter, right? Mm -hmm. He wasn't allowed to do that. <laughs> There's mm -hmm. no law that says you could go and shoot a bunch of people. He didn't mm -hmm. have a legal firearm to begin with. So nope. one of the most gun so regulated places in in the whole nation. But yet he still got a gun. Yeah. He still went and did what he wanted to do. Like the gun so <laughs> that's that's yeah. the whole thing. Is gun laws only prevent law abiding citizens exactly. from having exactly. a gun. That's that's the only thing it does. Because when have you ever seen a gangbanger that's like, oh God, I gotta put my gun, I gotta throw it away. It's illegal. <laughs> I just joined. I now my now I got to go through the process, and oh, and you know I don't I'm think any sorry, law. I'm sorry, I can't go through your initiation and shoot somebody. Guns are illegal, sir. Do you know that? I, yeah, <laughs> like it. Yeah, it's, I I don't know. I I just I don't think, I don't think laws are going to be able to fix it. That like further discussions That's, and everything. It, it's just every like, time we ever talk about this whole thing, I always say the same thing: you cannot regulate hate. Hey, guess what? Terrorism's illegal. Crashing airplanes into a flipping building is illegal. Yeah. But it didn't fucking stop him, did it? Mass casualty event. Well, it's it's but the and, and here's the thing, right? Is you can't have a knife or anything on an airplane, right? Okay. So what did the 9-11 hijackers have? A knife? <laughs> Box yeah. cutters. Okay. Well, guess what? They're armed. The we're 200 not. people on each of those airplanes were not. And they were able to hijack the plane with a knife or a box knife. Yeah. What if somebody had been armed with a gun on that plane? You think they would have crashed yeah, it into the, fuck, into the building? I don't think so. I think yeah, they would have been would've lying been in a. Uh, they they probably would have just flat gave up. To be honest, if somebody stood up and pulled the gun and said, "Hey, put your box knife down. We ain't playing this game today," I don't think they would have rushed him. Right? They would have just been like, "Oh, okay," but maybe not. But <laughs> it would have been a whole different scenario. I'm guessing. Yeah. But this is this is always the yeah. thing. Criminals. Do not attack people they think are going to be a problem. Sure. They don't. Well, it's it's just <laughs> criminals don't follow the rule. Like you're if if you make a rule, like I don't know. This just goes back to where like Well, you're right. One of but... the things I was taught in in elementary when it came down to like, hey, you're gonna go get in a fight. Now there's no biting, no kicking in the nuts, and no hair pulling. <laughs> I guess that's the first three things I'm doing. I'm kicking him in the nuts. I'm pulling his hair into my knee. I mean, those are the things you don't follow the rules. You don't care. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's just, but, I don't get it. But criminals don't go to UFC fight. Well, normally. Exactly. They don't, there's not they like go, there's an error. <laughs> they don't go to the UFC fighter that they know and say, hey, put your hands up. I'm going to rob you. It usually yeah. doesn't end well for them when that does happen on accident, right? You're not going to go to the quick shooter draw champion and hold <laughs> yeah. him up with a gun, right? Because no. you are not going to fare very well. You don't yeah. go to the gun shop and rob the gun shop. Why? Because everybody in the gun shop has got a goddamn gun, right? Let's, Pretty much, yeah. You go... To the old folks, and you rob old folks with money. You rob the people that you know aren't going to fight back because criminals are cowards, and they don't want you to put up a fight. They just want your stuff and to be gone. They don't want to make it hard. They want the easiest score possible. That's right. the nature of criminal. So yeah. if all of a sudden everybody started having guns... Who are you going to rob? 
right? You walk into the yeah, store, really, pull out a gun, really and, then, and then the 10 people in there all pull out a gun and point it at you? You think you're going to win that fight? I doubt it. Yeah, you're, it really starts to limit the playing field. or the, Yeah, period. It's the playing field. Like it, right yeah. now, it's, it's a big playing field because people are scared, nervous, uneducated, whatever you want to call it, and that no... You know, not being rude there, but it's there's a big playing field. But if you educated the right people and got everything out there, and yeah, it, it might change the game a little bit. Now, good gal with a gun. All I gotta say is good uh, job. <laughs> Kudos to you. Yeah, fantastic. You uh, lady are a hero, and I think you should come out and get your just due. Because baby, you, baby formula. you are a real hero. You you are. Yeah. You saved a bunch of people's lives without any thoughts to your own safety. You took it to this jackass, and he got exactly what he deserved. I, I'm oh, yeah. so sorry you had to deal with that, and that you have to deal with the ramification of taking somebody's life. But lady... You did the right thing, and you should feel bad about nothing, because that guy got what he asked for. Yeah, it's true. It, I yeah, back that up hundred percent. Just that's what happens. Did, right. did an amazing job. Did yeah. well. All right, with that, with that, everybody give this lady a round of applause. Let us know what you think in the comments. Tell her how good a job she did, and don't forget to share this video out. Help the channel. But with that, we are out of here for now. See you, everyone. Much love, all. We'll, we'll talk to you next time. See you later, all.